This tutorial is going to go over grading in Canvas using rubrics. It's going to assume you already know how to create a rubric uh, and attach outcomes to it and also attach that rubric to an assignment. Um, so you'll see here I have in my Canvas sandbox shell I have an outcomes example assignment that I created from a previous tutorial. As I scroll down here you'll see the, the, uh, the, uh, the rubric that I have created here and then the two institutional level outcomes that I have attached to that rubric down a little bit lower that do not have points specified, but they're just for, for um, tracking learning mastery for the students. Now as uh, just a quick point of review in this, uh, in order to grade your assignment with rubric, you do need to have uh, the rubric configured properly. I'm going to click on this little pencil here in the upper right corner to edit the rubric so I can just verify that I have set this up properly. And then at the very bottom of this, there should be one checkmark box here you, that says use this rubric for assignment grading. If this is not marked, uh, then you're not going to be able to easily use the rubric to grade. Um, so, and by default, this is not marked. So whenever you create a new rubric or, and uh, attach that to an assignment, you always have to mark this if you want it to be very useful to you. So uh, that's fine. It's already marked, so I don't need to save this. I'll just cancel. So. Now I'm going to go in and, and uh, grade the, one of the submissions that's come in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Speed Grader in the upper right corner while I'm looking at this assignment that I want to grade. When the Speed Grader comes up, it loads the test student who's submitted uh, this particular assignment. Um, and you'll see a little orange dot, which means that it has not been graded yet. And then we can see the paper here. And so with, when it comes to this particular paper, we can add comments just like you're used to. We can add a text comment and, and annotate uh, all we want. And then over on the right-hand side is where the grading and, and the general uh, comments happen. Uh, here's a rubric, view rubric button here. This is where we want to actually use the rubric to grade. So I'm going to click on view rubric. And then it's just a matter of selecting the level uh, that the student has achieved. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give full full points for quality, uh, partial points for relevance, um, and so on and so forth. Full for contribution, full for global picture, and then maybe maybe zero points for this one uh, for whatever reason. Down a little bit lower, we also have uh, the institutional level uh, outcomes here, which we can go ahead and choose where the student has mastered, what, what level of mastery the student has achieved. And this, of course, does not actually go towards the grading because of the way that we set that up to where um, those particular, these particular criteria, these outcomes do not apply to the student's score. So the student's score is over here and it will automatically be tallied up as soon as I am out of here. It so shows that the student has an 8.75 out of 10. So I'll go ahead and hit save on that. And then the student's uh, rubric has been saved and it shows how many points they've received over here on the right. If I want to add more comments, I can add uh, comments here or I can also um, do a media comment if I want to give a vo verbal feedback. So when it's time for the student to access that feedback, the student, I'm going to go into student view in my course here. The student will be notified that they have a new grade. They can access that grade here. And this is the uh, assignment that they've handed in that I've graded. They can, there's a little blue dot, which means they have not uh, seen the feedback here yet. So to access that feedback, feedback, they just click on the assignment name itself and then they are taken to be able to view the feedback that I've given them on the assignment which shows them the annotations. Then in the upper right hand corner we also have an option to view the rubric. So I'm going to go ahead and click on show rubric and then the student has access to all that rubric information as well. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you.